I'm not even going to pretend I watched the whole game, and I really didn't. I, I was on Facebook strolling through at work, and I heard that the Chargers had lost to the Jags. When I left, uh, the Chargers was down like 28-0 or something like that, 27-0. And it seemed like Trevor Lawrence had just threw another interception. I'm like, oh well, <laughs> maybe next year for the Jazz. And I'll be honest with you, I'm the reason why I keep up with the Jazz because they're too close to Tigers that play there. But to make a long story short, my uh, former clubs to Tigers came back and won 31 30. This coach for the Chargers is not a very good coach. I, I know I try to be funny, but. Um, you didn't have to, you could have ran the ball they threw the ball a lot I think Aguilar only had 35 yards rushing um, they already talked about Sean Payton coming there and taking the job for the guy but I remember a couple games he went for um, not this past year but uh, the year before like second it was like 4 for 20 in his own end of the uh, field so, and he went for it and the funny thing is he got it but it was that really smart football he's a daredevil risk taker um, guy that I don't think is very good as a head coach and that's why he lost his game today so you know uh, I can't remember his name Lynn I think I think that's his name but hey congratulations to the Jazz good luck on moving on to the rest of the playoffs, we watch it, root for Trevor Lawrence and on uh, uh, ETN. All right, have a great day.